Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Metal inserts for wood allow you to join two components together, whether they're wood to wood or wood to metal. But all inserts are not created equal. Have we found the best inserts yet? Well, we think so, but you be the judge. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. We have come to depend on these types of devices pretty heavily in the maker shop here. These are threaded inserts that allow you to drill a hole in wood, drive the insert into the wood, and then the inside of the insert has threading that allows you to put a bolt in it. So these have become quite handy, especially those people that are making live edge slab furniture where you're taking a really thick piece of wood and then affects, affixing other legs to it that may be metal or other wood legs, but you need bolt connection. Uh, something that's very secure with great pullout resistance. Now, what has been most commonly known for a long time are the thread lock type of fasteners. These are typically brass. Um, they have a slot on one end that use a specialized driver or wide blade to drive them in. Uh, and these have been around for quite a while. Uh, and the company that makes these actually makes that kind of fastener as well. If you're interested in seeing these installed in an installation tool or methods of installing them, you can check out the link at the top or in the description below where we'll show you how to walk through that. However, these are not the focus of what we're gonna do today. And the reason for that, we think we have found a superior fastener through Rampa. Rampa Tech, who is a German company that now has broad distribution in North America through Canada and the United States, has these fasteners that are really well engineered. Now, what's the big difference between one of these and one of these? Well, if you look close right off, you can see that the thread spacing is different. You essentially have a barrel shaped device, some way to drive it into the wood after you've drilled out the right specified hole size. And then afterwards, you're able to thread into the top of it. Well, look at the difference here though. On this one, you have a single thread that starts right here and then just winds itself around the barrel. It's very sharp, very efficient and cutting. However, because there's only one thread with one starting point, the biggest problem with these and why you have to use um, specialized installation tools is that you start it, it wants to turn sideways in the hole instead of going in straight. So what has Rampatech done? Well, they went to their engineers and said, this is the big fallback or big failure of these inserts of trying to get them to go in straight and to be perpendicular to the surface of where you're inserting them. So what the engineers did is they took threads, three different threads that emanate at three points around this, uh, so 120 degrees apart from each other, and they end up at the end of the barrel at 120 degrees. So there are three different thread starts. So when you put this in a hole, use a driver to start to drive it, it isn't going to go sideways. It's going to settle in because it's like a three-legged stool, and now you can drive them in using a standard driver or one that you can get from Rampa Tech. These are those standard quarter inch impact drivers. Uh, they also have them for metric type of sizes. So you just simply put this in, let the chuck go, and now that is trapped in there and now it can be used to drive inserts. There's another compelling difference between uh, this type of device and this one. This one has a countersink shoulder on it. So you'll see this ring of the, over around the top. So when you drive it, it actually countersinks itself just below the surface. And this can now be removed again using that hex driver. So these are very sturdy, very heavy duty, zinc plated, and they are self depth setting. As long as you've drilled it where there's approximately two millimeters of space under the barrel to allow it to sink in correctly, then you're gonna end up with a good installation. 
If you go and visit Rampa Tech, and you'll see the website address in the description below, you're going to be looking for the SKD 330 type. These have these great threads that not only allow it to be inserted in the hole straight without tilting over, but these have superior holding power for all wood related products such as hardwood, softwood, uh, plywood, particle board, and MDF. You'll be really pleased with the fact that these don't back out either when you're taking the tool out and no adhesive is required to get them to stay in place and to do their job. In addition to offering these great inserts, they also offer a matching set of fasteners that are in various finishes. As you can see here, zinc or the bronze or black. Uh, they're just really nice. And they come in three different styles. I only have two of them here, but flathead with the hex driver in it. Uh, these are all flathead. And then here is a mushroom one uh, that has a nice finish. And they also carry a pan head, all using hex drivers. You should be aware that Rampatec offers a full range of these type of fasteners for their metric line. However, if you're working in Imperial and using their Imperial line, they only offer it for quarter 20 threads, which that's quarter 20 thread, and that's a pretty standard here in the United States. But be aware, you can't get really large ones or small ones uh, if you're doing Imperial sizes. All right, let's go ahead and install some of these. I have a piece of walnut here uh, that will show you how well these go into hardwood. So you can kind of uh, get an idea here. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to set a depth gauge. I'm using a half inch bit. Uh, yes, that's an imperial size, but that's one of the specified sizes for using their M8 driver. So we can drive a half inch hole and then this bit, uh, or excuse me, these threads will grip just perfectly. However, the hole needs to be a little bit deeper. So what I'm gonna do is put that there and then put a piece of tape as a flag for a depth gauge. Here we go. All right, let's put that there. Let that hang over just a bit. Let's go ahead and put that tape on. There we go. And now I can come right down to that flag and we're gonna be fine. Now, let's suppose that I had precisely marked where I needed these holes and it was right there and one over here. So let's just go ahead and drill those two and then we'll insert these and see how it goes. So we wanna go ahead and put the, the brad point right in the center of the hole, put this up as perpendicular as possible and then go ahead and drill. And we really love these brad point bits. As soon as it gets down here and starts sweeping away, you know that you've hit the flag. So there you go. So now we'll move over here. Let's do the same thing here. Perpendicular. Right there. There we go. All right. We'll go ahead and get this out of here. Now we're going to go ahead and put one of the inserts right there. We'll just kind of start it. I've just kind of very lightly put it in place. And we'll go ahead and take one of the drivers that's made for this. You can use the L-shaped one if you like, or something like a T-driver out of your um, supply. But I'm just gonna put this forward and just let it rotate it in. And notice that it's seated right below the surface there. Really clean, very nice. Let's do that again. And again, you don't try to do this real quick, but notice how quickly the driver does insert this uh, device into the wood. Here we go. Bam. We now have threads in the wood that is clean, beautiful, accurate, and you saw no tendency for those inserts to tilt when we were driving them. So now we go ahead and say, let's suppose we're gonna fix something else to it. Look at there, it's as beautiful as can be. Goes on quickly, it's just really nice. All right, let me show you another great feature here, and that is if you need to take these out, you made a mistake, or you wanted, you know, you're dismantling something, not gonna use it, just reverse them out. Look at this. Because this is an industrial product, it's going to be more expensive than the consumer or retail type of products that you've seen. 
However, we really think it's worth it. And you can go directly under their website, which we'll show below, and you can order. And until March 7th, 2023, you can get a 7% discount off of their bulk packs when you use the coupon code DIRTFARMERJ23. That's DIRTFARMERJ, all one word, J-A-Y, 23, the number 23, and enjoy that 7% discount. You can also check out the link below where there's an animation showing the installation of these type of inserts, uh, comparing them against other uh, materials and that sort of thing you might find to be enjoyable and informative as well. Like you, we really appreciate great tools and we really like these Brad Point drill bits from Montana Brand Tools. We did a review on them. We've been very pleased. They're made in the United States and boy, are they strong performers. Check out this video over here where we did a full review on them and you can go there and use a coupon code also to buy these at a discount. And then while you're at it, check out this other video that we made just for you that we know you'll like. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from dirtfarmerjay.com.